In the dim light of history, there exists a figure shrouded in mystery and legend, a name that conjures images of dark castles, swirling capes, and whispered tales of the undead. Count Dracula, the infamous vampire of literature and film, has fascinated and terrified audiences for generations. But who was the real Count Dracula? The answer to this question takes us on a journey through the mists of Transylvanian history, with layers of myth, fact, and speculation intertwining to create a narrative that is as compelling as it is enigmatic. To begin, we must tread cautiously through the murky waters of legend and folklore that have enshrouded the figure of Count Dracula. The name itself is laden with centuries of superstition and fear, evoking the image of a bloodthirsty nobleman who preyed upon the innocent. Tales of his nocturnal activities, his hypnotic gaze, and his insatiable thirst for human blood have fueled the imagination of storytellers and historians alike, blurring the line between truth and myth. Yet beneath the layers of myth, there lies a historical figure whose life and deeds may have provided the inspiration for the infamous vampire. Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler, ruled over the region of Wallachia in the 15th century. His ruthless tactics in war and his penchant for impaling his enemies on stakes earned him a fearsome reputation, and it is here that we find the first threads of connection to the fictional Count Dracula. Vlad III's moniker, Dracula, is derived from his father's membership in the Order of the Dragon, a chivalric order tasked with defending Christianity against the Ottoman Empire. The name itself means Son of the Dragon, and it is this association that has been linked to the vampire myth. Bram Stoker, the author of the famous novel Dracula, may have drawn upon this historical figure as a source of inspiration for his immortal antagonist. However, the parallels between Vlad III and Count Dracula are not limited to the mere association of names. Vlad's reign was marked by a fierce resistance against the Ottoman Empire, and his brutal tactics in battle were seen as necessary measures to defend his homeland. It is this complex interplay of heroism and cruelty that adds depth to the historical figure, painting a portrait of a man who may have embodied the duality of light and darkness that is central to the vampire myth. The intertwining of historical fact and literary fiction creates a narrative tapestry that is as tantalizing as it is elusive. For centuries, scholars and enthusiasts have sought to unravel the mystery of the real Count Dracula, probing the depths of history and folklore in search of the truth behind the legend. The allure of the vampire, with its potent blend of allure and terror, has only served to fuel the fascination with this enigmatic figure driving us to delve deeper into the labyrinthine corridors of the past. The real Count Dracula remains a tantalizing enigma, a figure whose true nature eludes our grasp, obscured by the mists of time and the layers of myth that have enshrouded his legacy. Whether he was a noble defender of his homeland, a ruthless tyrant, or a spectral phantom haunting the shadows of history, the enduring allure of Count Dracula lies in the interplay of fact and fiction, the dance of light and darkness that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. In the end, it is this enigmatic quality that endows the real Count Dracula with a timeless, haunting presence, eternally poised on the threshold between history and legend.